What is up guys, Restless Dude here and welcome back to my Arsenal career mode. Last episode we managed to get some good results in the Premier League, however Manchester City are just on another level, 12 wins out of 12 so far and 8 points ahead of us. We also qualified for the Champions League knockouts, but we kinda screwed up our chance of finishing first after losing to Roma on match day 5. In this episode hopefully we'll catch up to Manchester City in the Premier League, especially when we take them on in this episode. So before we get started, help this channel grow by clicking a like on the video and subscribing, that'd be greatly appreciated. So there was a comment saying that we should also sign Camavinga from Real Madrid as backup for our midfield, but I'm pretty happy with Zinchenko and Sam Bilaconga as our backups, so maybe not right now. So we start off the episode with a game against Manchester United, and considering how far Manchester City ahead, every game from this point on is pretty much a must win for us. Come on, oh come on Tierney. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 what are we doing? Well, that's a, a sloppy way to concede a goal. Come on. Why did my player stop running there? Well, Bruno Fernandez gives Manchester United the lead. And Didi out to Saka. Martinelli out to Odegaard now. And Odegaard equalizes for us immediately. 1 1 against United now. Now this is a quick response if I've ever seen one. Our captain Odegaard strikes once again. And it's game on at Old Trafford. Please tell me that's on side. Yep, Tierney is on side. Vinicius back to Tierney. And our left back Tierney gets on the score sheet. Great play between him and Vinicius Jr. It's not the first time these two are combining on that left wing. 2-1 against United at Old Trafford. And what a way to take the lead. Wow, they could have saved that maybe. Both De Gea and the, the defender right there. Yeah, it's a miracle that went in. Uh-oh, United on the attack. What is Ronaldo gonna do here? Oh man, I made a mistake maybe. Or did I? Nope, Saliba just about recovers. Nope, screwed, scratch that. We didn't recover. Ah. <sighs> Again, a sloppy goal from our point of view. That was so avoidable. Maybe I should have been more aggressive when it comes to Ronaldo. Well, 2-2 two, two now. Zinchenko again. Ah, so bad from us. But Saliba intercepts that. Saka. It's Martinelli. Oh, come on. Straight at the hair. Seriously. Tierney. Other guard. Out to Vinicius Jr. Vinicius is true, let's go all the way. And Vinicius gives us the lead with the last kick of this first half. 3-2 after the first half itself. And there may be more goals to come in the second half. This has the potential to become a classic. And Didi, out to Martinelli. Oh, not enough power from Martinelli. Now it's Zinchenko. Saka, Odegaard. And Odegaard scores again, making it 4-2 at Old Trafford. Let's, let's just get the job done. Let's uh, keep this advantage and finish off Manchester United once and for all. Nice interception, Tierney. Vinicius Jr. Okay, we should have the ball, and we do. Saka, out to Tomiyasu. It's now Odegaard. Odegaard out to Martinelli. And it's 5-2. Now the game is done, I feel. Great play from us there, and I can't believe that cutback actually reached Martinelli, because usually the AI just intercepts those. But, not this time. And Martinelli gets on the score sheet uh, at last. Yeah, that was way too simple. Of course, when you have Maguire at the back, you're gonna concede goals like that. Anyway, we're, we'll just make some substitutions and quick sim the rest of the game. United do get a goal back, but it's not enough. 5-3 win for us in the end. Now we're up against Nottingham Forest. I'm just gonna quick sim this game with my first team. Hopefully we can get a result. Are you freaking kidding me? A 2-1 loss with our first team? Nottingham Forest were like 17th in the league. FIFA, you need to sort this out ASAP. I swear, if we end up dropping points to Wartford as well, this game is broken. There's no other way to put it. Finally we get a result we should be getting. 
But luckily, even Manchester City dropped a few points. They got a draw and a loss in their last few games. So that means we are now 6 points behind them. Now we have the final Champions League group stage game against Dinamo Kiev. There is still a chance that we could finish top, but I don't see it happening. So I'm just gonna quick sim this game with my second team. And again, we failed to beat Dinamo Kiev. Come on, FIFA. Well, it didn't matter in the end anyway, because Roma got a win in their game, so win, lose or draw, we would have finished second regardless. Anyway, we have bigger games to worry about, in particular this game against Manchester City. We win this, and we'll be within just 3 points of Manchester City at the top. Tierney. Out to Odegaard. Okay, what is the space Manchester City are leaving? Okay, it falls for Saka, and it actually works. I thought the attack was gone when I saw Odegaard's shot get blocked, but luckily Saka uh, keeps the ball under control and volleys it past Tedderson. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, that is such a lucky rebound for us. And Erson, yeah, he was going the opposite way. No wonder Saka scored that. Uh-oh, Wallon. Foden again. Oh my god, we screwed up there. No, 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 no. Ah, De Bruyne gets Manchester City back into this game. How did we not intercept the ball there? Man, Manchester City with their tiki-taka passing are just... So hard to deal with it. So hard to deal with. And Didi, I see Saka making a run. Can we send Saka through? Yes, we can. Saka may as well go all the way, but Erson gets his fingertips on the ball. And it's out for a corner. Tomiyasu, Thomas Partey. Jesus. Odegaard is clean through. And he makes it 2 1 against City just before halftime. We, we had this coming. This goal was long coming against City. Vinicius Jr. Okay, that is clearly a foul. But Vinicius stays on his feet. Vinicius. Jesus. Out to Odegaard. And Odegaard strikes again against City. 2 for Odegaard. 3 for Arsenal. 3-1 against City in this game. And Didi. Out to Odegaard. I see Vinicius in plenty of space, Vinicius Jr. What can we do here? Vinicius cuts it back for Jesus, and it's 4-1 against City. I think it's game over. Yeah, we're gonna do the respect celebration, given Jesus is a former City player. There we go. 3 goal advantage? I think this game is done. Again, maybe we'll just make some substitution, substitutions at this point, and we'll jump to result. And Modric actually gets another goal for us, making it a 5-1 win against City in the end. Manchester City actually played an extra game, but the gap is now just 4 points. Next, we're up against Newcastle, which we're gonna play the highlights of. Okay, a solo run for Jesus. Come on, Jesus, pick up the pace. Jesus, why are you so slow? It may not matter in the end, because Vinicius Jr. finishes off the job. I don't know why Jesus tends to slow down in 1v1 situations, like, like why? Why does that happen always? At least we get the pass off to Vinicius uh, who finishes. Another counter attack for us and I'm gonna pass it to Vinicius immediately. And that could work. Vinicius Jr. is true, he's gonna have to go all the way, which he does. 2-0 up against Newcastle United. And to be honest, I don't remember a time when we had a two-goal advantage in one of these highlight games. I, th I think this is the first time in quite a while. For once, we may actually get a solid win in one of these uh, highlight games. And there we go, the full-time whistle, 2-0 win over Newcastle United. And that win means we are now just one point away from Manchester City at the top. Next is Leicester City and same drill, we're gonna play the highlights. A counter attack for us. Zinchenko, I see Vinicius Jr. making a good run. Vinicius has made the run. A cross maybe, let's try it. And it actually works. The two Brazilians, Vinicius and Gabriel Jesus, combining to open the scoring against Leicester. After 10 minutes. Another opportunity for us, gonna have to pass it back immediately. Vinicius Jr., a finesse shot maybe? Again we're denied by the crossbar, this time from a finesse shot. Okay, a solo run opportunity. Vinicius Jr. Can we send Jesus through? I think we can. 
and it's 2-0 against Leicester City. We're, it's, it looks like we're getting the hang of these uh, highlight games for once. Or maybe we're just getting lucky because, yeah, I don't remember having such opportunities in the previous highlight highlights. Again, we have a great opportunity. Gabriel Jesus, Vinicius Jr. and it's 3-0 against Leicester City. Like, why did the highlights start working now? When we actually uh, when we actually need them to, why now? Why couldn't they work like this before? Wow! And now we get a penalty with a chance to make it four 0 against Leicester. Saka is gonna take it. Gonna go bottom left. Oh my God! How does he guess the exact uh, position I was gonna go for? Vieira back to Zinchenko. It's now Gabriel Jesus. Can Jesus get a hat-trick? Yes, he can. Gabriel Jesus completes his hat-trick against Leicester City. 4-0, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last goal. The referee is probably going to blow the whistle, which he does. Now, this is a convincing highlight to the game, if I do say so myself. Gabriel Jesus with a hat-trick. And we actually go top of the league with that win, after Manchester City dropped even more points. I think this is the first time we're top of the Premier League. Let's hope we keep it that way for the rest of the season. We now have a game against Everton, who are actually 7th in the league right now. So you know what? I'm not gonna take them lightly. I am actually gonna play against them. Tomiyasu. Wow, we actually find Odegaard there. Odegaard lays it off for Sambi Lakonga. How do you miss from that? Odegaard, can we send Vinicius through? If he kept himself on side, hopefully he did. Yes, he did. Vinicius Jr. It's Martinez, and Martinez scores that actually. I thought Pickford was gonna save it, considering it didn't have that much power, and it was pretty much straight at him. And I don't, I don't think this is the first time Pickford made a mistake like that. I think we scored a similar, a similar goal with Modric last last season. Yeah, Pickford does get a hand to it, but it goes into the goal anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was against Pickford that we scored a similar goal last season. Well, 1-0 against Everton. No, 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 this is not happening. Come on, we gotta stop him? Ramsdale acts as the la last line of defense to deny Moise Keane there. Nuno Tavares. Oh, that's Ndidi actually. Marquinhos. Out to Tomiyasu. A cross comes in. And, but Gabriel Jesus scores a bicycle kick. Oh my god. What a way to seal the game against Everton. Man. I knew, I knew something, something special was going to happen. Considering, how, considering the opportunity we had with that cross. Jesus was basically free there. The, the, we had the space to get the cross in. And it works out in the end. And that's the full time whistle. We get another win in the Premier League. A tough game against Everton, but in the end, a 2-0 win for us. We keep our spot at the top of the table. Next, we have a game against Brighton. Even though they're 16th in the league right now, you saw that even the small teams can get results against us. Well, this is a start for us. We have a penalty in the third minute itself. Saka is gonna take it. Hopefully, he scores this time. Gonna go top right. And it paid off. The keeper goes the wrong way, and it's 1-0 to Arsenal after 3 minutes. I think we can send Saka away now, if he kept himself on side, which he has. Saka, but let's do this. And Vinicius Jr. makes it 2-0 with a header from Saka's cross. Saka with a goal and an assist now. And just look at Vinicius Jr.'s uh, celebration. One of my favorite celebrations, to be honest. We have a solo run in the 53rd minute. Saka is clean through. Let's do this. I'm not gonna risk it. Gabriel Jesus now gets on the score sheet. 3-0 against Brighton. We're gonna get another solid win in one of these highlight games. But you know what? Let's just jump to result at this point. We don't need to score any more goals. Well, we do in fact. 5-0 it ends against Brighton. Partey and Urgard get on the score sheet as well. We have one last game before we enter the January transfer window, and that is against Liverpool. 
No way we're playing the highlights of this game, I want us to finish the year being top of the Premier League. Vinicius Jr. Can Vin Vinicius haunt Liverpool once again? Well, not if Allison has anything to say about it. Corner comes in. NDD. Saka. Saka crosses it in for Gabriel Jesus. And that's his second bicycle kick in this episode alone. And for a second I thought he was gonna be offside, but nope. Yeah, Liverpool made a mistake leaving Gabriel Jesus open like that. We gotta see that goal again. Saka crosses it in. And this time, yeah, the bicycle kick was even better this time. A little more power at the very least. Man, Gabriel Jesus... Yeah, he's arguably one of the best strikers in the world right now. Okay, what are we doing? How is Nkunku getting through us like that? What did we just do defensively? How did we let Nkunku just run through us like that? That bicycle kick from Jesus? Gone in a matter of minutes. Man, this is ridiculous. Like, look at that. That is poor defending from us. Yeah, that is totally on us. Jesus, Saka. Back to Jesus. Another cross, maybe? This time it's cleared, though. Thomas Partey. Odegaard goes for something spectacular, but Allison was quick to react there. Ndidi on the run. What can we do here? Ndidi. It's Odegaard. Can Odegaard shoot? Yes, he can, but Allison with a good save there. Saka. Saka. Okay, Jesus, back to Saka. Saka, are you freaking kidding me right now? How do you miss that completely? At the very least, keep it on target. And did he back to Jesus, but what next? Just look at how Liverpool are trying to win the ball back. Odegaard goes for a shot. And Allison denies us yet again. Oh my god. We're seeing the same mistake yet again, but this time we can't even capitalize on it. How? How did we mess that up? Okay, Vinicius Jr. Fabio Vieira. Jesus turns, but again we're denied. And that's actually the full time whistle. Uh, we get a draw in the end against Liverpool. I feel like this is undeserved. We were supposed to win this match. With the amount of chances we had, we should have finished Liverpool off easily. Well, it's interesting to see what the table looks like after this result, because Liverpool are in the fight for the Premier League, Premier League title as well. Like, look at the stats. Only one shot for Liverpool throughout the entirety of that match. 11 shots for us, on the other hand. Liverpool should count themselves lucky that they got a draw in this match. The good news is, even with that draw, we have a 4-point advantage at the top. And other than that, we have officially entered the January transfer window. So in the next episode, there's a chance we could get some transfer business done. And I know I'm yet to reveal our Champions League opponent, but stay patient. There's a chance we'll play the round of 16 in the next episode itself. Thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not. That'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, Restless Dude out.